What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for the reaction and today's a great, wonderful, beautiful day because it's a Sweden day. How Sweden survives without small talk? How do you survive? <laughs> without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Small talk is those kind of, in themselves, unimportant topics. Hmm. If you ask people what's the purpose of talking, then Many Swedes will say, oh, to give information, but that's really not what, <laughs> what small talk is about. To give information. I mean, yeah. It, sh it should be, but it's not. Small talk serves as I'm with you guys, I hate small talk. <laughs> yeah. Nu är ingen i trappuppgången. Om jag skyndar mig nu så slipper jag träffa grannen. I do this. Hej! Åh oh, nej, nu är småprataren här också. Hej! Nu måste jag säga någonting innan hon tycker jag är skum. Vädret? Jag vet inte hur vädret är idag. Det är fint väder. Vädret? Jag vet inte hur vädret är idag. Ja, jättefint. <laughs> nu måste jag säga någonting innan han tycker att jag är helt självupptagen. Och ser den här... I get it girl, I absolutely get it. I'm one of them people that like looks out to see if anyone's in the corridor and then I'm like, is the elevator going down? And like, I will just find the elevator and I'll run into the elevator so no one gets in with me. Maybe I'm Swedish. Nu måste jag säga någonting innan han tycker att jag är helt självupptagen. Och se den här hissen här. Kom igen, kom igen, kom igen, kom igen. Nu har jag inlett konversationen jättestelt. Ska jag säga något mer innan hon tycker att jag är den skumma värdekillen? If there's one message, it would be that small talk is really big. It's just the topics that are small. The biggest problem for Swedes to understand is that it has a meaning, even if you're talking about the weather. But the meaning is not the weather. If you want to know about the weather, you ask a meteorologist. The meaning is, let's have a little connection. Kind of crap. Meaning Basically, talk. Swedish people <laughs> want to avoid small talk situations, and in order to do that, they avoid eye contact. And Swedes have developed different strategies to do that. For example, they, when they see you coming towards you in your direction on the streets, they just stare somewhere else, for example in a shopping window, or they just take out their phones and stare at that. And while they do that, they have actually mastered uh, the competence, um, the skill of navigating through of crowded him. places just by staring there and Do you know what? Sweden must be the best place for someone who's on the spectrum. I say it's in the nicest way possible. Like someone on the spectrum, autistic, find it very find they find it very difficult with social interactions. So Sweden would be like an amazing place for people who are neurodivergent, um, compared to some of the more extroverted countries in the world. Um, so for some people, Sweden's awesome. I think for me, it's quite good. I think for me, it would work out quite well. A peripheral vision. Är inte det Jonas från högstadiet? Kolla bort så kanske han inte ser mig. Wow, Clara. Hon har inte sett henne sen nian. Hej, hur är läget? Det var länge sedan sist. Hej. Hur är läget? Det är bra. Ska du också ta bussen? Nej, jag tänkte bara gå förbi. Hoppas bussen kommer nu så jag slipper snacka med honom. <laughs> Hör du själv? Jag säger att jag är på väg till psykologen och inte jobbar på två år. Jo, det är bra. Egentligen kommer bussen. Nu slipper jag honom. Nu kommer bussen, men vi ses. Ja, det var kul att snacka. Vi kanske kan ses någon dag. Vad creepy. Träffas. 
Jag har inte snackat sen nian. Nu kommer hon tycka att det är jätteskum. Swedish people like to mind their own business. They don't go down the street and talk to everyone. They just want to go out and go to the place where they want to go without any distraction, ideally. Perfect. Perfect for me. Perfect for me. I like no distractions. No one bother me where I'm going to where I'm going. Like, if I'm going to the shop, I'm going to the shop. I don't need to have conversations, like, like small talk. It's just not... <laughs> I don't like it as well. Um, unless I know you. Unless unless it's planned. Like, if we're, if we're meeting up, we're going to the cinema, or we're doing something, and I know you, and it's a planned event that we're going to do together, then, yeah, because I've planned it. And that's... I've planned for, for a start. Like, yeah. But, like, if it's just a random day when I'm walking, I'm trying to get somewhere, I don't want... Just, like, a chit-chat. I just don't... It's fine with you guys, because you're my... Uh, beautiful view family so it's fine i can i can i can have conversation with you i can connect i can connect with you it's fine but people on the street i don't care about them <laughs> no it's true still uh, what's in british pubs or southern european taverners yeah probably Sweden is a vast country, people have been living more spread out and they're used to um, being alone, being uh, like just within their small group and maybe not having so much contact to other people who are living in other villages etc. Mm. And this kind of culture that's from like many hundred years from before uh, it still exists a little bit more and more present even within uh, among those Swedish people living in cities for example. I get it. Swedish people That's might fine. get a bit confused first when they go to another country and then people are very chatty. I think it takes a few days when they're abroad, when they're on their vacations, to open up a little bit more. But also, when a Swede comes back to Sweden, they have to readjust to their own small sort of culture again. So there are two kinds of, um, of um, cultures. One, there's the peach culture and the coconut culture. What? And have you ever... America... Have you heard of the peach culture and the coconut culture? Is she making this up? I've never heard of this before, but let's hear her analogy and see if it makes sense. She says something about America. Let me put it back. There's the peach culture and the coconut culture. Okay. And America and many other cultures, they're more the peach. Okay. That you very quickly get down to a certain level of trust. And that's why we, you can meet oh, uh, I get people it. And, and sort of go out to a meal and feel like you know them very quickly. But then there's that kind of centre of the peach. That's hard. Whereas Sweden is more a coconut culture. It's very hard. That is shady. That is shady. That's low-key shady. She said there's a lot of surface layer. <laughs> she said Americans, it's all on the surface. It's all sweet on the surface. But when you get into the core of those people, they're hard like rock. <laughs> And she basically said, it's hard for you to get into a coconut, but once you get inside, it's beautiful and creamy and, and delicious and fleshy. Uh, <laughs> so you're not surface level people. That is the most shady analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> I love her. Um, and I love those type of people. Like, so I know I'm going to get a lot of misleads, like, because I don't like surface level um, fake people. I like people that have depth. Um, and I like people where I have to chisel away to get to the center. If I really like you, I love the process of getting you to like me, or I try even harder for you to like me because I'm, I'm trying to get to know you. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind that you're a bit bris bristly, bristly? What's the word? Spiky on the outside. If I know you're a good person, I will actively seek you out. That's hard. Whereas Sweden is more a coconut culture. It's very hard to get in. Mm -hmm. And some people joke like, oh, it takes 10 years. And then you get to the heart of the coconut. But it's like, ah, 10 years, you know. <laughs> mm. 
obviously, obviously, it doesn't apply to everyone. However, I think as a a blanket kind of um, overview of Swedish culture, I think it probably is. It reigns a little bit true, especially from the videos I've seen before, or people saying that Swedes are a bit more reserved, and the whole lift culture of not wanting to speak to your neighbours or not knowing your neighbours. So I think it is uh, true in a sense. So yeah, and I don't mind that. I think I'd fit in very well. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you guys later.